Hello and welcome to OnPoint Software's video tutorials on Spectrum Business Intelligence module. In today's video, we'll take a look at getting started with business intelligence by creating a simple analysis report. So let's open the business intelligence module and let's click on create analysis report. The system will prompt us to pick a data source. These are pre-built by Spectrum across different modules and determine which fields will be available for us to add to our reports. Note the auto refresh button below. If you're dealing with large amounts of data, you can turn this off so the system won't try and refresh the data every time you make a change to the report. In this particular example, let's choose project management subcontracts where I want to see how much I have billed for my, all my subcontracts across all my jobs for my company, which is ABC. So let's go ahead and select that and click on OK. So here we see the main layout screen, where on the left side we have all the fields that will be available to us. Uh, that we can drag to either the rows or the columns. The measures are the actual calculations based on the parameters that we choose that we would drag onto the measures layout section. The table to the right will display all the different fields that we have chosen, which we can then modify accordingly. So let's start to build our report. I'm going to choose the company code. So notice that I have all my companies that now show up on my table to the right. Let's go ahead and add my job code. And my face code. and the cost type. Come down here and add the subcontract number and the vendor code. On my measures, I'm going to add the bill to date and my revised contract to date. So these are the columns that I want to see on my report and the calculated data that I want to see on my report. So let's narrow it down. So I did say that I, we want to see only for company ABC. So let's go ahead and filter our company column to just show us ABC. To do that, we can drag the company code and to the filter section up above here. And here I can choose that I only want to add ABC. And I click on OK. So now I just see the ABC company jobs and subcontracts on my report. Okay, so we can add a few more other options. Uh, if you click on the down arrow on any one of these fields, you get presented with a few more options that you can use to hyperlink, uh, show subtotals, filter, sorts. Um, so in this case, I wanna see subtotals for all the jobs for the subcontracts. We can also display the report in either a table form or we have a graphical option where we can use charts. You can use the settings button up above here on this menu to make a few more changes to your report by way of layout, some options, some chart options, 
resetting column sizes, and some export options as well. Once we have the report in the layout and format that we want to, we can actually save it. Let's go ahead and save this. And I'm going to call this ABC Subcontract Build to Date. And I'm going to save it in my company folder. I also want to export this report to PDF. So I'm going to go ahead and go back to settings and I click on export to PDF. And I can choose whether it's a letter or landscape. I'm going to choose a portrait option and I'll click on export. And here I see my report that has now been exported in PDF for company ABC. And down below, I also have some options or some information on the different fields that were used on this report. So I hope you enjoyed this simple video on creating an analysis report using Spectrum Business Intelligence. In our next videos, we'll continue to create different types of reports uh, thank you for watching.